go. We are ready for our one hour full body lash of last. And we're gonna start on our feet. And we'll go through our whole body. Remember, you can use any tool of your choice and you can spend more or less time on any area. Good morning, everyone on the live stream. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Pat. Mary, Lee. Is everybody sleeping this morning? Good morning, Pat. Okay. All right, so let's start on our feet. Tops or bottoms, I'm gonna start on the top. I'm going to start using my face blaster. Pat, did your friend get not get signed up? Her microphone is off. Oh, okay. I'll ask her later. Oh, Lee, I guess it's just you and I that are talking. <laughs> I try to rotate when we start the feet first and last because if they're last, they don't ever get as much time. Yay. Yeah, well, we could spend like a whole hour on our feet. It would feel amazing. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yep. Which that's typically what I, I do is I spend mm -hmm. um, more time on my feet just doing, you know, a foot blast at the end of the day or... Make sure when you do your feet that you get up here around your ankle. So we have, yeah, we have a crisscross band, a reticulum band of fascia that goes across your talus. Or I could just say blast your ankles. <laughs> but a lot of times when you can't get down into a squat position, um, it has to do with uh, ankle stiffness and your you need better mobility in your ankles so get all around those ankles I'm gonna come into the back of the heel that Achilles tendon if I point my foot it's gonna make that muscle shorter it'll just be a little bit easier to get in there and massage it I was getting a little bit of fluid build up on my ankles and by blasting them regularly that's going away. Yeah, that is a very common thing. I'm glad to hear that that's usually um, what they call edema when you have excess fluid in your ankle and lower mm -hmm. leg. And I used to have that really bad as well. And I see, you know, for six years of the users that so many people have been helped and my clients just getting the fluid moving and also to not have the fascia so stuck together that it's inhibiting the full function of your lymphatic system. And what's that? I said not only that, it looks better. Yeah, it does. It lets those calves pop. So getting on the outside ankle, <clears throat> and then I'm just going to, whenever you're ready, go to the bottom. I might try another blaster. Um, I'm going to try my mini paddle. Oh, perfect. Did you switch feet? Have we done both feet? No, I have not. I have not switched yet. Okay. Oh, this mini paddle is great for the feet. Really 
nice. pay for everything. I love it. Do you? <laughs> yes. I just don't use it as much because to me it's not like a new tool because I've I cut up a paddle blaster and have been using um, right for in what three years yeah and so and mainly where I use it would be uh, on my clients it's nice for me to use mm -hmm. on my clients and have a, a hand I have one with five especially um, yeah, so I kind of forget to use it on myself. This is mm. great. Great for the feet. Learn something new today. Oh, that's really nice. Put your hand behind your toes and rock that forward. Yep. All right, I am going to go quickly with the mini two across the bottom. And then I'm going to take the nugget to my heel. I'm just going to come down on the bottom of the heel and I'm going to use the pointy end of the nugget because down on the bottom of the heel we tend to have a callus, a very uh, thickening of the skin and down in here you have your plantar fascia and it's kind of a triangle that comes here and there's a really thick point in here if you can just scrub on your heel. This is really good to do after you get out of the bathtub when it's softened. If you push hard enough you'll kind of feel that you might even get some zingers. So this plantar fascia gets overstretched when our calves are short. It pulls on this plantar fascia. And if you ever have heard of people having the plantar fasciitis surgery, what they do is they come right here and they snip. They literally cut this fascia to let it loose, to free it from the calves. Okay? So we know that where we hurt is usually not where the fix is going to be. Not it's a referred pain. So we always have to look above, below, across. And I'm gonna go to the other foot now. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I just love being outside. Mm. It's rainy and 50 something here. <laughs> Aw, you should come visit. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I know, it's my granddaughter's 21st birthday today. <gasps> I got everything done yesterday, so I could do this today. <laughs> How's she feeling? Good, much better, thank you. Awesome, that's so good to hear. Really good, yeah. So we're on the top of the second foot, and I'm going to go across the top real well. Again, don't that front of that ankle. A lot of people have really stiff ankles. Um, you know, are not able to point and flex and rotate. It's amazing. I have clients come and they literally, you know, just have like no movement. And and I can relate because of all my foot problems, I've been there. And the you know, key is is you keep you keep um, massaging them with your tools and you keep moving them. Otherwise, they lock up. So come to the inside. And remember, healthy tissue doesn't hurt, so if you find a toe or something that's really sensitive, <laughs> and maybe massage it a little more, you can go to your reflexology book or use Google and ask what area of the body that's associated with. You have, um, I did take a 12-week course in reflexology. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, oh boy, you talk about hurting your hands, r rubbing feet like that intricately where's your hands out in a, in a hurry like literally the first couple days i thought i was gonna die like what did i do and then, wow yeah but it's really interesting so like allergy season maybe the tips of your toes might be sore because that's where the connects with the meridian points in your body it's coming to the outside of the ankle Oh, this feels so good. You like the background? Burden's turpin? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What a dream. What can make me feel this way? 
My girl. My girl. My girl. My girl is calling you. My girl. Oh, cute. <laughs> It's fashion time. Oh, everybody's toes feel like they can now open up and move. Yeah? Yes, yes. Did you did everybody bless their toes? We're getting ready to go to the bottom of that second foot, but already your your feet should feel kind of free. Freedom. If you have the mini paddle, get it out and try it on the bottom of your foot. Been missing out. You know, everybody always asks, you know, what's with all these tools? And really, of course you only, you know, we all know that you only need one, but <laughs> they're so nice. <laughs> so nice to have choices and Boy, this really yeah. looks nice. Like, I remember using the original. Yeah, I use the original everywhere, which most of you on the live feed have been around that long. I used it on my face, my feet, my body, my head. We were just kind of the pioneers of figuring out what you could do. Yeah. And then Ashley, being smart, made these more useful. Okay, now if you want, you can go deeper. Any fine tuning you want to do, we are going to move on. Our feet got a little extra bonus today. Well, I think you hit the nail on the head. You can do it all with the one. Right. But it's so much easier. Right. Because every time I change tools for a different part of my body, I think, oh, this is the one I like the best. Exactly. Yeah. It's just the one I like the best for that part of the body. Because right. I like it one better when I'm doing something a different part of my body. Yep. I totally <laughs> agree. Like the face blaster, I love it. I love it. I love it. And I use it all the time on myself and clients. You know, it's so nice to get in. It's just so nice to get in and scrub all along their spine and their neck and their hands and feet and, you know, to do that detailing. But I wouldn't have to, I, I mean, Boy, I'd be working on for six hours if that's the only one I could use. You know? Right. <laughs> and I'm going across my heel. I'm going to use the point on my heel. All right. When you are ready. Let's move on. Um, let's do, do we have any requests to do upper or lower body next? No, lower. Okay, let's continue on with our legs. When I lived in Minnesota and I would teach, I would teach at I think it's 7 a.m teach uh, fitness classes and it would be so cold I would have on you know so many layers you'd be peeling off like these ski pants and all this stuff and it's always like you're always looking like gosh did I remember to put shorts on under here or, you know what <laughs> See you. I finally got them all, got my summer stuff out finally. Oh, nice. I can see you, yeah. but on my computer it's only so big. Yeah. <laughs> but I can see you. All right, I'm doing, I'm oiling up the entire lower leg, and the most efficient is to start off for me with the paddle and come behind. And I just want to make sure that everybody's getting up to the top. So if, in your, if you're in a seated position, come up and kind of curl. Do that forward flick. Those attachments come in from the hamstring and they run hamstring down, okay? 
not just the belly of the muscle. Get up in that attachment. I kind of go across them. So we can like get the belly real well with this and then go ahead and fine tune those areas. And the beauty of the paddle, you can do a full body, a thorough full body in like 10 or 15 minutes. It's a great core workout if you tighten it, that chunk of that blueberry. <laughs> right, exactly. Good reminder. Yeah. I'm coming to the front and getting the whole entire lower leg. You can also drop aside, move my leg, and scrub this angle here. Coming right up to the shin. Inside. What tool are you using? Mini paddle. Mini paddle. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to switch to the mini paddle. And now I'm going to go bigger and get my original. No, I think um, when you're ready, I'm going to move up to my upper legs. And then we'll go back, I'll go back with the face blaster um, and do a little fine tuning in there. So I'm going to move on. So What's that? Not switching legs, but all the way to the top on one. No, I did my lower legs right there. I did both my lower legs. Oh, you did? Okay. Yep. Do you need a few minutes to catch up? That's okay. I'll catch up. Yeah, so I'm just going to go up to my upper leg now. Then we'll go back and take a, a face blaster or nugget or whatever we want to go in and get the fine tuning. So on my upper leg, my first upper leg,
then I'm going to start out with the paddle. Now make sure I get up in this hip area, hip flexor, between the top of the hip and down here at the hip capsule. You might feel kind of ropey. Here comes the sun. Maybe I just stood up into it. <laughs> And I'm going to switch my hand position and get that hamstring inner thigh. And I'm going to switch, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab, um, Big Daddy. I was debating between Big Daddy and my original with the extenders. They're pretty similar. I don't have Big Daddy. Really? Love the Big Daddy. Yep. I probably don't need the original blaster. Big Daddy, okay. Mini 2, Paddle, and Face. I gotta have that that uh, Big Daddy for my back. I even put the extenders on it. <laughs> yeah. I love the Big Daddy. Just for my legs, it's so much better than the original. Okay, I'm gonna go to my other leg. Did you decide to do a heart butt? Yeah, it's just the um, the technical workload behind it. Um, if I could just do the exercise part, um, we would be doing it a year ago. Um, it's just the logistics and time of um, putting it together. Okay. I didn't yeah, miss it. I, I want to. It and I it, right? Oh no. We're all 
waiting with bated breath, Julie. Right, I know. Yeah. It's the, it's that techie side, the business side that, of like, okay, it's all in my I'm mind, but how do you, well, that's, I worked on that for like three months last year, that's what I, I hope to start in January. The sun is hitting my back, and I have a sweatshirt, and the sauna suit, and my hat, and I feel like I am really in the sauna right now, <laughs> which is going to be great for when my blast my upper body. Woo! Yeah. Anyone have some fun Memorial Weekend plans? Nothing birthday else. parties. Birthday parties, that's nice. Barbecue? Birthday parties. Any barbecues? Oh yeah. Smoking a smoking a big old pork butt and uh, steaks for my granddaughter today. Nice. Pork butt tomorrow for my brother. <laughs> nice. What do you smoke it on? Uh, it's called a pit boss. Hmm. Oh, awesome. I'm switching to the um, Big Daddy now. Totally optional, but if you want a bigger claw. Okay, now I'm just going to come and I'm going to do any fine tuning on, well, you can do it wherever you may need it. So I'm going to take my face blaster, I'm just going to spread some of the oil. And I'm going to go all across my knees.
Make sure you get that inner knee. The um, mini paddle does work nice here to get this connection. Put it on the bottom. Now I'm going to do underneath. So I'm just on the back side of my knee. I'm not getting I'm not digging into the center, but I'm getting those attachments and right behind. To keep a slight bend, that'll keep the pressure off the direct the soft spot. And again, why don't we want to do the soft spot? Well, there are soft spots in your body, like pressure points. There's usually a high concentration of lymph nodes, nerves, arteries, veins. There's a popliteal artery nerve and lymph nodes and it's just an area that it's um, a contraindication in massage to massage that area. That being said, um, in lymphatic, in lymphatics, so I specialize as a medical lymphatic Specialist as well. I was always in school, but in lymphatics, you do you do a pulse, a light pulse back there. So what I'm talking about is directly. So if you bend your knee and you put your fingers in there, it's just that tiny little soft spot right there. I'm not going to take and just sit there and grind that out. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go right in front of it and underneath it and beside it because you have your attachments your muscles mm -hmm. attach to your upper and lower leg, your hamstrings, and that's where the stickiness comes in, is where you have <coughs> tendons and ligaments and joints and the bones, um, you know, those junctions get sticky. So you need to get above, below, but just don't dig right in the middle. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if you keep a slight bend and you go across it, it's gonna get a little bit of a bend, is gonna take the pressure off. I've never, uh, no, I can't say never. One time, it was the first time I used the paddle blaster. I got, um, I didn't have enough of a bend and it got a little irritated, but nothing to complain about, just something I noticed. And then I'm gonna come up, make sure I get all the way up into my hip, maybe even onto my hip. legs. And if you want to take, if you want to do any um, extra with the mini two, you can. If anyone is into the nuggeting on their legs, you can always come in right underneath that IT band, right here by the hip capsule. It's a nice place to come from the trunkinator up. You can also just use claws. And if you are on demand and you are newer, I would not recommend using these tips until you have been blasting for several months and your tissue is ready. So my tissue is pretty healthy. I have a good balance of you know, muscle in there and I'm just cleaning up around the joints and any stickiness, anything I might want to encourage more separation. And top of the knee where your quad comes in is also a nice place. Always start with the bigger end, then go to the smaller, sharper. Less is always more. You cannot 
you don't want to um, try to do too much too fast with blasting because you're, you'll end up sore and you won't be able to do anything for a while. Yep, and remember, don't blast over sore, swollen, or bruised areas from a previous session. You want the tissue to heal because that's when the remodeling and the magic takes place. All right. Finished up on the legs. Get a drink. See if I can move this, move you forward. Go into the upper body now. So I'm all sweaty, which is really nice for to be hot and sweaty for blasting. Okay. Let's start on. Start on the chest. This feels amazing. What uh, what tools everyone using? Lee, what tool are you using for your chest? Me? Yeah. Mini paddle. Are you? <laughs> Jody, what are you using? I was using the face blaster, but I'm switching to see what the mini paddle feels like. Yeah, I'm going to try it. I, th I feel like I'm too... Yeah, that's okay. I feel like I'm a little bony. That little pop socket thing makes it uh, really easy to maneuver. Yeah, I have one with three with no handles that I hold in the palm of my hand. Yeah. I use a lot on clients. I just don't usually show those modified because I don't want people to buy a $200 paddle, cut it, and then it breaks, which I'm constantly gluing the, the little pieces back onto the ones I've modified. They do, they fall out, so it's just part of it. Okay, so moving on. Yours, Julie, do you put it? Sure. What do you do like between clients and stuff like? What do you do to clean your tools? Oh, I I, I have extra tools and I I sanitize everything. So it takes. But I mean, how how do you do it? It takes me a half hour or an hour. I sanitize everything. Pardon me. You don't run them through a dishwasher? No, uh, no. I do not. 
I heard somebody say that, but I was worried about the candles. Um, I believe ABG has always, unless it's changed, but they've always said you can run them through the dishwasher. It's easier for me just to do a flash boil. Get the soap off with Dawn and then just do a quick flash boil. I see. I also, I also have a wide variety of um, every level of disinfectant. I don't like to use um, heart, her stuff on my stuff that's on my body though. Yeah. So trying to find that balance. I think it's easier just to boil up some water and flash it. Well, I have a tendency like between just between easy wipes, not the one on my foot. I just use like baby wipe <laughs> to get the oil off more, yeah. more than disinfecting. But every time I really feel like I need to get it more disinfected than that. Just, yeah. yeah. I've never had a problem in six years using on myself or clients. Yeah. Never had a anything. Okay, moving up to my neck. I also have a separate set for my clients and myself. And I have yeah. some local clients, um, you know, that have lasted a long time. They bring their own tools. So it just really varies. Yeah. So I'm getting my trap. Try keeping your neck soft. So leaning into the blaster a little bit versus stretching it in a way. We'll let you get in a little deeper into the muscle. And I'm doing my neck, the fronts, and just all above the collarbone. I gotta go back and hit the underside of my arms. I don't know if you got yours, but I have not. I was worried that there'd be landscapers out early this morning. It's really pretty quiet for quarter to eight. Yeah, it's a nice color, Julie. What's that? You have some really nice color. You look very tan. Um, it must be because I'm in the shade. I don't, I don't tan. I do sunblock, sunblock, sunblock. I wear long sleeves and pants when I hike. And cover yeah. I have sunscreen on my face and neck right now. So it must be the shade. It's, it's good lighting then. <laughs> yeah. I think, you know, I have a nice I have a nice tone. My skin tone just changed from the increase of blood flow after I started blasting. It's something that we it's all notice. We all um noticed once it started like in 2015 and 16, we all noticed that about after a year we're like, my gosh. Ever, I've never had compliments on my skin and um, I look like I have like a not olive but darker which is more blood flow more blood flow if you're sitting you can always plop your arm down on your leg Put it on a table, on a stool. Just helps you get a little more leverage. Just like if you have your foot on the floor and you're pushing into it, or if you put your hand behind it.
Carrie, Carrie must do hair on Saturday mornings. All right. Um, if you want to do your stomach now, you can. And the mold go to our back. Again, I am light on my stomach. I've been having some stomach issues for a month or maybe even more. You want to lay back over the ball, stand up just for a light blast. I'm just doing the face blaster for encouraged blood flow. If you're on demand and you're newer to blasting, um, some users experience more, um, can't, may, you may experience more detox symptoms in abdominal blasting, such as increased bowel movement or um, other things. Do any, any of you have any issues when you blast your abdominal area? Not issues, but it's definitely clears everything out. Uh, right, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't need anything sped up anymore. <laughs> no, I haven't noticed anything. Yeah. Yeah, I hear people say they get like, like I, I've never had that happen. Oh, it's not fun. It's... Yeah, and I'm usually, after these classes, I'm, well, either, today we have fascia yoga, and then I have regular yoga, hot yoga, but I'm usually with a client or something right after, so it's like, oh, I don't want to get everything all riled up, and then oh. can always do a little massage, starting at the right hip, coming over to the left, and down. All right, finishing up with the back.
just using the big old paddle blaster across my back. Feels really good to get up there on that trap. And I'm going to go ahead and do my lower back now with my paddle and then I may come back and get a little with my master or another one, maybe the big daddy. so good. Yes. <coughs> this is still one of my favorites, the Master Blaster. I'll tell you, this was, this was a boon for me to learn. I love this. Oh, the Master Blaster with extenders uh, rubbing the middle of your back? Oh my gosh, yes. Is, isn't that amazing? Yes. Just kind of shrugging it? Oh, I know, I love it. I do that probably every day. Oh. And then, Lee, it feels really good to go over, if you have a foam roller, to roll your back, and oh. you'll, you'll get a nice pop, pop, pop. Which doesn't necessarily yeah, mean have doesn't necessarily mean you're going into alignment. It just means you're getting movement in your spine, which is good. Yeah. I also like taking. I have lots of black stuff. Yeah, I like taking my full size could be a big daddy, and just kind of pinning a vertebrae and moving my neck. Uh huh. After you've blasted those muscles, it's nice. Can you see how I'm holding it? Just like this. And yeah. I'm pushing my neck against it. Very cool. And then, yes. yep, and then turn it up and right into that occipital, those attachments while you're moving. Oh, oh my God. Isn't that awesome? Okay. Yeah. Um, we're going to finish up with our hand scalp face wherever you may need right now oh. those are all happy tones right yes yeah so if you're catching this on a replay 
Um, I do invite you to check out my schedule um, for live classes and we have, well, I think you can hear us chatting. Um, you have some accountability, check in with your peeps and have some encouragement to know that you're not alone. There's a lot, there's hundreds of thousands of blasters and uh, I know sometimes the time doesn't work so the replay is better but would love to have any of you on a live feed. Or maybe just now that it's warm, maybe live in my yard. Okay, so we have the hands. Um, I'm not going to do my face because I have, I have sunscreen on. I guess I could do a little. It always feels good around my jaws. Okay, I have to go put some more sunscreen on this <laughs> before fashion yoga so I don't have a stripe here of burn. Okay, and then if you want to do your scalp. So the trick is just to scrub, 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 and then release. And that way you don't get a big knot. And my hair is not brushed. I slipped in my ponytail. But it still works. If you have neck tension, get in there and scrub behind the ear. Feels amazing. That tangle is not from messy hair. That tangle is from using my left hand. I am so not good with my left hand. And I can't see. Just as I said, I've never had a tangle. I get a tangle. There we go. I'm so right hand dominant. <laughs> Me too, no matter what I, how I try to. I know. Use both. I thought I was going to yeah. try them with my left. I had shoulder surgery on my right many years ago. I could barely even brush my teeth with my left hand. It was so hard. Uh huh. It was crazy. Funny. All right, we have completed a full body. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah. Thank you everyone for joining today on the live and for the on demand. And uh, everyone that's live, I'll hope to see you in 15 minutes for Fashi Yoga stretching. Excellent. I don't we'll want to. I don't want to stop blasting now. <laughs> All right, see you in a few. Bye. Bye.